Hey everyone, I'm going to show you how to build a garden swing that is scaled for minifigures for today's Lego brick tutorial. Let's begin the garden swing with a 2x6 plate. I'm going to take several 1x2x1x4 downwards angler plates. I'm going to place two of these on one side and two of these on the other side. These studs are going to be used to attach the front and back sides of our awning. And we're going to lock all this together with a 2x4 plate. Then I'm going to take two 1x2x2x2 downwards angler plates, place these on both sides. These are going to be used to attach our side supports to the swing. Grab a modified 2x2 plate with ball hitch receiver and a 2x2 plate with two side studs. I'm not sure what these are called. It's got a little 1x2 plate on the side. We're going to place this on here like so and then I'm going to take one of these triple 45 degree 1 by 2 slopes place this right here let's make two of these and I'm going to place these on both sides of our awning frame so I'll place this one right here just going to have to wiggle and jiggle those in and then on the top eight two by two by two thirds plate with bow this will give the top of the swing and the awning a nice contour makes it look a bit more realistic and you're going to have to hold underneath this you really can't press down on this as it is well it's not flat on the bottom <laughs> won't be too sturdy to do that so we're gonna have to place those on there for the bottom portion of our awning let's take a one by eight plate i'm going to set down eight one by one plates with teeth on the plate now what i'm going to do is i'm going to alternate between spring green and flame yellowish orange it's a nice color combination and we are going to need to make two of these let's place our one by eight plate with our one by one teeth on one side then we're going to flip this over we're going to place the other assembly on the other side give our awning a bit more of a decorative look for our bench swing, let's take a 2x6 plate. We're going to flip this over and set down a 1x6 plate on one side. Then I'm going to place a 2x4 plate right here. Now we're going to flip this over. I'm going to slide in a pair of 1x2x1x2 upwards angular plates in these two areas. And then I'm going to fill in this void with a 1x6 flat tile. In the back, six one by one nose cones. These are gonna form the back of our bench. And then right in the center, a one by four plate. And in the center of that, a one by two flat tile. Then I'm gonna round off the corners with a pair of one by two by two thirds plate with bow. Now we're going to take a pair of modified 1x2 plates that have a ball on the end. We're going to place these on both sides of our bench, right on the angular plates. Now let's attach our bench swing to our awning. We're just going to place these balls inside of our receivers. Make sure everything is lined up. Let's start with a 1x8 plate for our garden swing supports. We're going to set down a 1x4 flat tile right in the center and a pair of 1x2 plates with friction stub. We're going to place these on both sides to where the stubs are on the outside. Take a 5 stud long cross axle. I'm going to place a few friction forks with cross hoe one of these axles. I want to make sure that the 
friction forks are facing in the same direction, I'm going to place these on one of our friction stubs. Take another five stud long cross axle and another friction fork, place this on one end, and on the other end, a friction stub with cross hoe to where the friction stub and the friction fork are facing in the same direction. We're going to place this one right here. Then I'm going to take a one by two brick with friction fork and a friction stub. I'm going to place the stub inside the fork. I'm going to swing these over by one notch. And I'm going to put this stub inside this fork. That's why we had to use two different pieces. Usually getting these in can be a bit of a chore, especially when you're trying to line everything up. But it should lock in place. Let's make two of these. Installing our swing supports is pretty simple. We're just going to place these right on those special modified 2x2 two two plates. Just place those right in there. And now we have a nice functional garden swing.